relate your trip in the National Assembly and this budget of this year. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Robert Mbui, two minutes. Uh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. First, I want to just clarify that uh, even as I raised this question in the last uh, uh, assembly, this issue of CDF is not uh, an issue of members of parliament because sometimes the public gets confused. Members of parliament are interested in ensuring that this money goes to the constituencies for development of the constituencies. And I want to thank the majority leader for highlighting even some of the challenges that he's having. Mr. Speaker, my concern is on the dignity of the House. Remember that the CS Treasury has already given two letters confirming that money will be disbursed, two billion every week, and the first time he failed, the second time he has failed. Uh, simple English tells me that once beaten, twice shy. I don't know when twice beaten what you say. Because, Mr. Speaker, two times we have actually not gotten the result of what we wanted. And, Mr. Speaker, as we discuss the budget, it is clear that one of the things we have to do is appropriate the funds. The other one is to ensure that there is prudent expenditure of the same funds. Now, we are just a month to the end of the financial year. And we are talking about, uh, Mr. Speaker, from what the majority leader has told us, 38% of this money has been released in the last 11 months. And now he wants us to believe, Mr. Speaker, that we will be able to get 62% within one month. Mr. Speaker, I want, to, I, want to propose, I want to propose as follows, Mr. Speaker. Because we, we are the ones dealing with the budget. And Mr. Speaker, if for 12, 11 months we have not been able to get the funds for this, for this financial year for National Government Constituency Development Fund, GAF, and also the counties, maybe we suspend the debate on the budget until this money hits our accounts, then we can come back. You can call us on Saturday, you can call us on Sunday, any day we can come and continue. But let us give them an opportunity to put the money in their accounts. Because what they are telling us they will do in a month, they can do in a day, if they are willing to do that. Mr. Speaker, I propose no, bad, no, no CDF, no budget. No money for counties, no budget. No golf, no budget, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Robert Mbui, you brought a very noble request. I would have easily said, go and talk to the Treasury. I directed the majority leader to bring you a response which he has brought and they say that is buzzing the money the debate on the budget is ongoing and the question will not even be put today we have up to next week so I want to encourage you that that extremist position is unhelpful and that we do not uh, encourage it when we reach the order we carry on with the debate robustly debate as you always do a budget statement will be presented to this house on Thursday it falls within the period within which the majority leader said money will be disbursed what I thought you would be negotiating is that when the money is disbursed I don't know what the regulations say that when the end of the financial year truncates every expenditure you ring face that money to carry on with the programs if it is safe then you need not worry Be, uh, then we need we need I, I encourage you to engage with the majority leader and if you have any issues you can uh, refer to me because I have constantly gone beyond my duty of call as your speaker to engage the treasury to disburse even funds for your mileage claims for those who get mileage for your subsistence and for other things that encourage us to run the house so I want you to also be fair and patient and I thank you for raising the issue because it has elicited a response that looks positive it may be inadequate but it's positive uh, Honorable Ichungwa, Oda Wanjala, Honorable Ichungwa, uh, the women rep for Kilifi has come here to 